Hey, yes, welcome to another video. Um, slightly different one this time. I've never actually kind of touched on this on my channel, but this is going to be kind of a, a car related video. We've stopped off in the lovely countryside, um, West Berkshire, but yeah, um, a lot of you guys know already that I had a, a blue, Ara Blue to be exact, RS3 um, Audi Saloon. <laughs> Um, five cylinder, 400 brake horsepower, Audi RS3. Um, and yes, some of you may know as well that I've sold that car. Obviously this is what I'm standing in right in front of right now, um, which obviously isn't an RS3. But yeah, this is what I'm driving right now. This is my brother's car. Um, so this is what I'm driving until I get the new car, which I have placed an order on something. Um, but yes, why have I got rid of it and why did I sell it? Um, so yeah, I only had the car six months, six or seven months. I bought it back last year in September, 2017. Um, it was an absolutely wicked car. Well, don't worry, I'll put up some, some flashbacks of it now. I've got some videos of it and I did, it did feature on the channel, but kind of more in like a cinematic way than kind of talking about it. up in the video and stuff like that but yeah I had the car six months it was awesome I did around 8,000 miles I was dailying that car every single day so I was filling up that car about six times a month which is quite punchy in what it's gonna cost you but yeah I'm gonna do three points or five points while I sold it I think that'll be the you're gonna do yeah so let's start with that okay so the first point um, why to get rid of the RS3 is dailying it. I, so I've already mentioned I've dailyed this car. Every single day I was going to work in it as well because I work about half an hour to 40 minutes away from my house. Um, I was using it every single day. I didn't have another car to use so I was literally just using that car. I did 8,000 miles, well nearly 9,000 miles in six months which is quite, some people would say that's excessive, some people say that's nothing. But if you're dailying a, if you're sure if you're dailying a car probably about a thousand miles a month is, is probably okay to do um, but I was doing over that obviously so yeah dailying that car was a bit of a faff because the car to fill up was about 60 quid or 70 quid if you put in via power or super, uh, super unleaded um, so yeah that was costing quite a lot a month and I don't really want to be paying that when I'm dailying that kind of car is very very powerful like 400 horsepower 2.5 five cylinder even though it's awesome <laughs> Of S3, um, which Audi do, is much more economical than because I had a TTS before as well. Um, but that was much more economical than the RS3. And yeah, so yeah, I do want to kind of get something. Well, I have got something on order which is much more economical but special in a different kind of way um, <laughs> than um, kind of power and speed. Um, but yeah, you, you, put, you guys probably would never ever guess um, what I've got on order. But yeah, on to the second point. Come around, come around. A lot of you might say this is a silly one, but practicality. I care quite a lot about practicality because that's why the reason I changed the TTS to back to an A3 because it only had one cup holder in the car. The Audi RS3 had two uh, and it had slightly a bigger boot. But now thinking about it, it was a saloon version. I didn't go for the hatchback because every, everyone was buying the hatchback um, and I wanted a different shape and I really liked the saloon shape. But the boot was actually quite small and it was probably smaller than the TTS because the TTS opened quite big and you can shove quite a lot of in, into it. But the RS3 was just a little saloon boot because um, we went to Ikea once and bought a load of furniture and well, it was my, my desk area, that's all from Ikea. So I bought that and it was a bit annoying trying to put it in the back of that car. So I do want something more practical like because I do lug around a lot of gear and stuff um, when I go to work and on road trips and stuff. I want to have all my stuff in the car without kind of faffing around. I'm um, just going there and get it easily. Uh, this, at the moment, is proving to be very, very annoying because I have to keep pulling back the seats and stuff and the boot in this is absolutely tiny in this car. So I can't wait to get something bigger. Um, yes, the car is bigger that I've ordered. Uh, so I can use it more efficiently and, and easy like that. So that's number two. Okay, number three. All right, this is kind of the main, main big point. 
which I kind of wanted to touch on in the video, um, but I just threw in two others for banter. Uh, yeah, so number three, this is the main thing. I don't know why I'm pointing at this, it's not the car. Uh, yeah, so number three, the value for money. Um, with the car, I did it through finance, it's a PCP deal. Uh, I did buy the car cash, so it was a PCP. Um, what that means is a personal contract loan, personal contract hire, you do through Volkswagen services, financial services. And I didn't put that much deposit in, which is kind of a bad thing and a good thing. So the value for money of that car, if because I didn't put that much deposit in, it made the monthly payments kind of ridiculous. Um, and I was looking around as the next car to get, and I could get a lot more, not necessarily speed-wise, but a lot more kind of tech and kind of practicality, big car, and a lot more worth the money as what well. I was paying for the RS3. With the small amount of deposit going in, um, it made the monthly payments a lot higher, and you can get pretty much anything for the monthly payment I was paying. It was quite ridiculous, and really, what I was paying for is just a quick A3. I mean, the interior, all it is is just a bit more red stitching. I opted for the carbon inside, uh, which I'll throw up a picture now. Which is quite cool, it's got a flat bump steering, we've got the Alcantara Ice Design Pack and all that stuff. Um, but really, it's just a base A3 with a 2.55 cylinder engine in it and a loud exhaust. <laughs> The thing is, I really, like, when I ordered that car, I was so, so obsessed with the 2.5 5 cylinder sound. It's just, it's like, it's probably one of the best sounding turbo charged engines out there. Um, in my opinion, it sounds really, really good. <laughs> but yeah, I was pretty much sold on the sound. I just wanted kind of the RS rather than the TTS, like the S version Audi do. I just wanted the big RS and get the sound. But then kind of after kind of the five, the six months, it, I don't know, the price wasn't really worth paying that. I mean, if it was a couple of hundred quid less on the monthly, then then fine, that's cool. But at the time I didn't have that much deposit to put in and stuff. And then the reason why I sold it quickly is because um, when I sold it, there was still a premium on the car because they're quite rare at the moment but now starting kind of this year a lot more have come out and I've seen a load of hatchbacks on the road um, even a couple of saloons on the road as well so I sold it right at the there was some well I didn't make any money on it that's for sure but it was okay because I was still quite a premium on it so I didn't fall quite short of the car um, but if I left it kind of a year or even two years I would it would be ridiculous um, and it wouldn't be worth keeping that car for that long We had to move to this big log here because the car park is getting a bit busy and there's a lot of people coming from our bikes. Um, but anyway, yes. Is it bike now? Yeah, so back to value for money then. Um, oh God. Hello. The dog's just attacking us. Base price for the RS3 is 45 grand um, and I put quite a lot of spec on it. It was about 51 or so. Um, I paid for the car. And really, for like a quick Audi, 51,000 is quite expensive. Um, I mean, you can get a Porsche Cayman GTS for about the same price, um, and you're riding a Porsche, uh, which is like more of a driver's car. Um, and well, it's basically a sports car. Oh, now we've got the horses coming. <sighs> it's not getting better, is it? <laughs> Just have to open the gate for two horses what you get for um, filming in the countryside. Okay, right, where were we? Porsche Cayman. Yeah, Porsche Cayman. They start about 50 grand for the GTS, Porsche Cayman 918, the new one actually. Same price when you get in a sports car, you're also getting a Porsche. Better interior and stuff like that. Also, you can probably get a used 911 Carrera base, probably 50 grand, 60 grand on, on Auto Trader, a few miles on it. So yeah, for the value of money, it's kind of, 
you're probably better off in, in the S3. Better fuel economy, but still fast. So yeah, you guys are probably screaming at me saying, so why the hell did you buy it then? Um, I'm gonna touch back to the engine and stuff. Basically, I was an RS fanboy. I love the RS cars that Audi do. Um, and basically, I just wanted to get in one and, and drive it and, and kind of hear the sound and stuff that the 2.5 five cylinder engine makes um yeah just fell in love with the sound really At the end of the day, I was dailing that car every single day, and it wasn't really worth dailing that car every single. I mean, people do daily them, but probably not to the extent that I was doing it. I was going out probably twice, even three times a day in the car, uh, and it wasn't kind of weighing up to be. Am I paying this to daily this car? Am I paying too much money to daily this car and stuff like that? So the new one coming is going to be much more fuel efficient but it is still kind of a, a special car the the way how I've done it is kind of saving on fuel um, and I've actually saved on, on payments as well which, which is good but yeah it is not a boring car it's still kind of a special brand model make and stuff like that if you're gonna get a silly car you kind of need a daily as well this is kind of my situation I was pretty much dailying a kind of quick sports car I mean it's not a sports car but it's the same performance it's the same performance as like a, a some supercars um, sub 3.9 seconds to 60 uh, but yeah so once this car comes um, and in the future there's gonna be kind of I make a decision on, on kind of what silly car I want as long as I can daily some car and kind of because it is stupid to, to daily a, a supercar really so yeah that was my kind of situation there but yes guys <laughs> I don't know how this video is gonna do it's completely different to what I've done. I haven't even mentioned the camera. I haven't even mentioned the lens. I haven't even d taken any photos. Uh, but yeah, this is this video is strictly about cars. Um, and I was actually really surprised because whenever I post uh, a photo on Instagram of the Audi, um, I get quite good response on that. Um, some good comments coming through. And then I did like a poll on my Instagram story and I got a lot of DMs, actually more than I do get when asking a camera question. So I've got more DMs through that asking what car I should get uh, through my DMs and then kind of the stuff I do normally. So yeah, that's why I'm making this video. Um, I hope you guys that do that DM me are watching this and are interested in the car content. And yeah, all the guys are watching this anyway, do comment down below if you want more car content. As I said, I have put an order on something. It's a bloody plane now. But yeah, I have put an order on something which is coming in a couple of months. So yeah, car content, it's not gonna be for a while, but I could do, I mean, my mate Scott, Cool car, my girlfriend's got a cool car. I can do car content with, I don't know, I've got, I can make videos with cars in the meantime. But yeah, normal Lightroom stuff, normal, normal camera stuff, and all cinematic stuff is still going to be rolling out in the next two months. But yes, guys, thumbs up for the car content, um, does help. Uh, and yeah, leave some comments, see what you think. And yeah, I hope you like the clips that I put in in this video. But yes, guys, that's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.